what insight into Russian actions, particularly in the last couple of weeks, does the, does the proximity of the state give you? There are next door neighbors, and you can actually see Russia from land here in Alaska. Let's hey, y'all, you want to know why Sarah Palin lost her ass in Alaska? It's because of shit like this. Explain to me why that enhances your foreign policy credentials. Well, it certainly does. As Putin rears his head and, and uh, comes into the airspace of the United States of America, where, where do they go? It, it's Alaska. Do you agree with the Bush Doctrine? In what respect, Charlie? The Bush, well, what, do you, what do you interpret it to be? His worldview. Ultimately, what the bailout does is help those who are concerned about the health care reform that is needed to help shore up our economy. Um, helping the, oh, it's got to be all about job creation, too, shoring up our economy and, and putting it back on the right track. So health care reform and reducing taxes and reining in spending has got to accompany tax reductions and tax relief for Americans. And trade, we have, we've got to see trade as opportunity, not as a, a competitive, um, scary thing, but one in five jobs being created uh, in the trade sector today. We, we, we've got to look at that as more opportunity. All those things under the umbrella of job creation, this bailout is a part of that. The U.S. should absolutely launch cross-border attacks from Afghanistan into Pakistan to quote, stop the terrorists from coming any further in. Now, that's almost the exact position Barack Obama has taken. Are you and, sorry you and, said it, Governor? Fact, uh, wait a minute. Before you say, is she sorry she said it, this was a gotcha soundbite. It wasn't a gotcha. She was, in a a gotcha. She was talking to no, a she voter. She was in a conversation with a group of people and talking back and forth. And I, I, I'll let uh, well, Governor it, Palin in, speak for herself. In fact, you're absolutely right on. In the context, this was a, a voter, a constituent, hollering out a question from across an area, asking, what are you going to do about Pakistan? You better have an answer to Pakistan. I said, we're going to do what we have to do to protect the United States of America. He's been in Congress for 26 years, almost always sided with less regulation, not more. He's also known as the maverick, though. So I'm just going to ask you one more time, not to belabor the point, specific examples in his 26 years of pushing for more regulation. I'll try to find you some and I'll bring them to you. John McCain has that streak of independence in him that I think is very, very important in America today in our leadership. I have that within me also, and that's John, why John McCain tapped me to be a team of mavericks, of independence as a team member in this, um, on this new team promise the reform crush that gridlock all right the bridge to nowhere yeah uh, well uh, I killed the bridge to nowhere I told Congress thanks but no thanks for that bridge to nowhere up in Alaska but it's now pretty clearly documented you supported that bridge before you opposed it you were wearing a t-shirt in the 2006 campaign showed your support for the for the bridge to nowhere. You I was wearing a t-shirt with the zip code of the community that was asking right. for that bridge. But you were for it before you were against it. You were solidly for it for quite some period of I time was, until I was Congress for pulled the plug. infrastructure being built in the state. But you turned against it after Congress had basically pulled the plug on it and after it became a national embarrassment to the state of Alaska. So do you want to revise and extend your remarks? It on has always been an embarrassment. It's been an embarrassment, not just Alaska's projects, but McCain gives example after example after example. We're never going to spend $3 million again to study the DNA of bears in Montana. Governor, this year, requested $3.2 million for researching the genetics of harbor seals, money to study the mating habits of crabs, isn't that the, exactly the kind of thing that John McCain is objecting to? Those requests through our research divisions and our wildlife departments and our universities did come through that system, but wanting it to be in the light of day, not behind closed doors with lobbyists making deals with Congress. When you were a mayor of Wasilla, you hired a very prominent lobbyist to get Wasilla money. We did. We paid $30,000 for a lobbyist who was in D.C. because we're thousands and thousands of miles away from D.C. What newspapers and magazines did you regularly read before you were tapped for this to stay informed and to understand the I've world? read most of them, again, with a great appreciation for the press, for the media. But like what becoming, specifically? I'm curious that you... Um, all of them, any of them that um, have, have 
been in front of me over all these years. Um, I, have a va- I have a vast variety of sources where we get our news to. Alaska isn't a foreign country where it's kind of suggested. It seems like, wow, how could you keep in touch with what the rest of Washington, D.C. may be thinking and doing when you live up there in Alaska? Some Republicans have said you're not prepared. You're not ready for prime time. People have questioned your readiness since that interview, and I'm curious to hear your reaction. Well, not only am I ready, but willing and able to serve as vice president with Senator McCain. You can't blink. You have to be wired in a way of being so committed to the mission, the mission that we're on, reform of this country and victory in the war. You can't blink. So I didn't blink then even when asked to run as his running mate. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal.